behind us, they're building a rock concert. You can see all the gear getting put together as we celebrate 20 years of flogging Molly tonight. Dave King, nice enough to stop by and take a few moments. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm it's a good. pleasure to see you. You too. You too. How's this been going, this 20-year uh, run, going out there and celebrating? Does it feel any different? Uh, honestly, no. No? I mean, it, 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 it's like... Uh you know, we, we are, we're always surprised. We're always surprised that people still come out and, and watch the band. Yeah. And, you know, and it's 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 a thrill. I mean, it really is. I mean, you know, we you know we started this tour three and a half weeks ago. We're almost over it. And, uh, and the, the audiences have just been amazing, you know, yeah. really amazing. How do you get seven people to get along for 20 years and to <laughs> keep this going and, and do it? I mean, because that's a long time for a band to be together and to tour as much as you guys do. Like, it's relentless. And it's still on a bus, you know what I mean? It's not like you're on planes and you're... Right, yeah. You're not throwing around Beatles money. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Um, No, I mean, we we, we all respect each other's space, I think, you know? Right. We all kind of do our own thing as well, you know? Um, And people do have their routines uh, during the day that are very important to them, that, like, helps them through... Like, cause you know, at the end of the day, you're only on stage an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters, sure. or whatever. So the rest of the time is like, you know, and everybody has their own little thing that they do. What's your little thing besides talking to schmucks like me? Um, I'd usually still be in bed by now. Oh probably. really? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, me and my wife Bridget, we we turn into uh, vampires. Okay. Vampire, you know, we uh, we we rest as much as we can, you know, because you know we don't start work really till ten o'clock at night. Right. So you're worried when you get off the stage. So you're up for like four or five hours after that. Yeah. So we just rest and uh, get ourselves ready for the next day. And um, but yeah, I mean, I think we've been doing because we've been doing it for so long. I think we've become very adapted to it. Yeah. You know, we've 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 uh, evolved into this kind of thing. Yeah, it becomes like a you know a part of your life after a while. Yeah. Like I imagine after the first ten years, you're like, all right, I. I think I might have this might figured have out. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might, yeah, yeah. But Those hours afterwards, is it Guinness and Netflix, or what? What do you do in the time to wind down? Yeah, I mean, it is. We do wind down. We, you know, if we have satellite on the bus, we will watch, you know, a movie or something like that, right. and uh, hang out. And then everybody comes on the bus, and we have a few drinks, and then uh, we all kind of find our way back to our bunks. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations on 20 years. It's a, it's quite a feat if I haven't yeah. said so already. And celebrating with a new record that just came out a couple yeah. of months ago. Yeah. Um, How's it feel? I mean, six years since the last one, so so it's been a while to uh, to get out there and to play some new material. How's that feel? It's great. I mean, it really is. I mean, you know, it, it's touring as much as we do. It, it it really is so hard to, because when you have seven people, you've got you know seven families to to, to yeah. That's to a feed. lot of schedules. So to... It is, you know, and to, to try and get an album in there. I mean, we 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 had to really go like, listen, we have to stop for a little bit. And we need to get an album together, and so we did. And and um, and it was it, it was you know doing especially on this tour we've been doing songs that we've never done before, and it's a great experience to listen and look at people's reactions, you know. Right. Like people, like for example, the title track of uh, "Life Is Good," the name of the album. People probably wouldn't have an idea what it's about, but I explained it to them before that we play it now, and they've a, I think they've a whole different outlook on the song and it's 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 wonderful to, to really feel the response from the, I mean even like some of the band come up and go god that song just you know has a whole life to it now right that yeah. one in particular because I had read that you um, went through some personal loss while you were trying to put in this album together yeah. is that one in particular about that yeah it is my, it's my mother um, I lost my mother um, a little a year and a half ago okay and um, but I mean the, the whole song is about the whole album really is about like you know life isn't good you know life is 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 tough but before she died um, in the hospital uh, she set me and Bridget down and she said to us you know she was 94 I mean she's a long life but hard life you know it wasn't easy but she said to me and Bridget she said um, do me a favor she said enjoy yourselves because I did and it was beautiful you know it was like wow she didn't have a good life. She had a hard life, and um, but she enjoyed it. I mean, she, uh, you know, she went for it. You know. I imagine that's something too to, you know, invite two or three thousand people every night into that moment with you. That's got to. Is it cathartic or what's the feeling? It's it's. I want people to feel the way I felt when she told me that. Okay. You know, and that's why the song is there. You know, is it because of that? You know. Um, 
and no matter, I mean, this, we, we, life is really, really hard. It's what you make of it, and and celebrating it really in a way. I mean, you know, um, and I don't mean just by going out to the pub and drinking and you know, but it's like, you know, she has some, she has some amazing memories. You know, she'd been to two marriages. Her first husband passed away shortly after she married. Then she married my father, and he passed away shortly after that too. And and um, but you know, she still really. You know, she made life everything she could, and she made life everything for me. And, and you know, I remember, like, you know, I was always encouraged to, to play music. You know, when my father was alive, when I met through my mother, and I remember my first break, I got. We didn't have the money to send me on the audition. Uh, it was in London, and it was a band starting, uh, and they wanted me to come over and audition for them, and we didn't have the money. But she used to clean houses. And she borrowed the money from one of the oh, wow. the women that she used to clean the house for, and sent me to London. And a week later, I I packed my bags and I left home and moved to London. And, and I, you know what I mean? She she did that for me. You know what I mean? She was, yeah. What a sweet way to honor her too. I mean, is is there a more fitting way to do it than to have that moment with those with those people each and every night to yeah, have that kind of immortalized? She would, she would she would love that. Right. Because you know. Who were my father when he was alive? They would go out to the pub on a Saturday night, you know, not every Saturday night, but a, a lot of Saturday nights. Right. You know, the, the one night they'd go out together, and uh, I always remember they they always used to leave. Uh, this is not the word of a lie. Uh, pig's feet and ribs, boiled ribs, on the stove, and I'd watch them. And I was only eight or nine. Right. You know? but they'd come back, and the, we only had like really one room in the in the in the. Uh, in the, in the flat that we lived in, but we had a piano, and they'd all come back from the pub, and everybody was sitting on the floor, you know, and I and my mother would play the piano, and my uncle was on the accordion, and and everybody in the place would sing, and I always remember as a kid having a spoon as a microphone, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd sit there, and uh, and I'd always get my turn to sing, so I was always encouraged, you know what I mean? That's great. It was celebration. It was always like, and everybody in the room, obviously. I hadn't two pennies to rub together, you know. Uh, but the fun, the energy in that room was was really incredible. Is that an Irish drunk food? The pig's feet is that is that a common well, thing to come home? Because I eat pop tarts when I get drunk, and yeah. I, I come home and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of pig's feet before. Well, for what, well, they had to feed the people coming back, you know. Right. So uh, yeah, for some reason we had pig's feet and ribs. I might try that. I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm never trying that. It's definitely an acquired taste, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Um, the other thing you guys have going on, I was just reading a little bit about this uh, cruise that you guys do. This mm. is the fourth year yeah. that you guys are going out there. Yeah. Um, wow, what an adventure this is! You can probably know a lot more about it than I do, but it's you and some of the best bands of all time: The Offspring and the Buzzcocks yeah. and um, Lagwagon, yeah. like all of you guys out there on a cruise, and it's open bar. What, whose idea was that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it is, uh, I actually met a young man last night, uh, who, uh, in New Jersey, who was, I met him after the show, and he was, he was, like, already got his ticket for the cruise, and everywhere we go, whether it's in Europe or, you know, there's people all over, come from all over the world. And go on that cruise? And go on the cruise, and it's, at first I was a little bit apprehensive, I think we all were a bit apprehensive about it, because, you know, you look, at it's not really, you know, it's not like a club, say, you know. Where it's, you know, you you buy a ticket, you you get your car, you get or in a taxi or wherever and you go to the show, yeah, and you go to the bar and you have a drink, or whatever. It's not like that, you know. It's it's really, it's a huge celebration like, as well. I mean, I thought I didn't think people would want to go to it, but after the first year, where people were like, please don't stop this, you know, this is, yeah, you know, so much fun. I'm sure that sounds like a lot of fun. It's it, something it, like I twenty mean, bands and yeah. It's a, it sounds and cool. we stop off at an, an island, and the island is just for us. So the 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 the, the, the cruise ship uh, anchors, and then we got all these little boats that take everybody from from the ship oh, onto wow. the island. And, and everyone's then, just hammered off an open bar at the same time. Everybody is just having a great time. <laughs> right, that sounds like a mess. <laughs> a great time. Yeah, pig's feet for all. Yeah, pig's feet for all. There island you go. full of pig's feet. <laughs> Well, look, I'm so excited that uh, you guys are here in Philadelphia celebrating oh, 20 years. Um, you know, it's been uh, it's been a cool 20 years. It's been cool to watch, you know, I, as long as I remember listening to music, there's been a flogging molly. So I wow. think that's great. Wow. 
I hope we're still doing it justice. <laughs> yeah. Here's the 40. Here's the tea. That's okay. Uh, Dave, I really appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Cool. Great meeting you. Thank you.